Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie. Happy New Year! It's the start of the new month, and I'm here with some Dragalia Lost to talk about this month in Dragalia that launched um, close to this night. I guess it launched at New Year's. At the, <laughs> whatever. You get what I'm saying. Um, I also accidentally uploaded a Dragalia Lost video under Dokkan, which was really weird, so this is I'm releasing that one early and being like, oops, my bad, here you go. It's a, a look at the Clawful Caper, so... Look forward to that. You're getting more Dragalia videos because of my mess up. Anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, basically the this month in uh, Dragalia, as I said in the beginning. So let's look into it. Um, this is basically burning down Clawful Caper, the New Year's Tidings, talking about how you can get Hanabusa as an adventurer, but also talks about these special weapons that you can basically use as weapon skins. That's the, the fish sword, the bamboo blade, the kitty. Is that a knife? I don't know. And a wand, I think. Um, and the showcase, of course, has Mitsuhide Nobunaga and um, Chitosi Daikokuden, and yeah. And then also Iyasu is in it, and all the ones from last year, the, the previous um, New Year's banner. Okay, anyway, let's get into some new stuff. This is specifically talking about our next collab, which is a Monster Hunter event. And uh, I'm gonna read what it says here just real bit. I'd like to take some time to talk about the Monster Hunter event, which we announced at the end of last year. This event will have a story and a summon showcase, and I'm going to share a little about one of the adventurers who will appear in that showcase. It's Berserker, and he'll be decked out in Rathlos armor. This version of Berserker is a sword user, but in Monster Hunter terms, he was designed as a great sword user. When you charge up four strikes, you can use the powerful charge attack that is a characteristic of great swords. You'll also be able to get Monster Hunter inspired weapons during this event. Some follow designs from the Source games, but there are also some brand new designs with the Monster Hunter feel. So, of course, I was one of the people who was not happy with the Mega Man event. I think the Worm Prince ended up being very good. The reward you got from it good. The event itself, kind of boring. And Mega Man, I have my qualms with Mega Man. I don't know if... It's been found out that there's better uses for Mega Man. I saw someone trying to use him on, um, uh, yeah, H HMS. There you go. That's I believe that's the right one. I get confused between HMS and HMC. Uh, not Mercury. The one that's not Mercury. The, the one that you would use Mega Man on. Anyway, so I'm glad to hear that the Summon Showcase is coming back because we're getting a free Rathalos and then three adventurers. I'm going to assume it's three adventurers with Monster Hunter armor design now. Berserker is the first one, which is crazy, because let me look at Berserker. Also, I'm in Japanese. Watch the other video to figure out why I'm in Japanese. Uh, I believe Berserker is dark type. Shadow type, I should say. And he's a three. Right? No, he's not a three. He's a four. Berserker. This is Berserker. So, as you can see, he's fully decked out in armor, so I expect the same thing. I doubt we'll see his face. He'll be... It'll basically look like this, but with Rathalos style designed armor, which I'm excited to see. Now here's the other thing. I'm not 100% sure who the other adventurers it could be, because if you looked at the showcase as I just read it, it said one of the adventurers, meaning we're getting multiple. So who would be the one to get it there? So let's see. I think it's a high possibility for us to get maybe Luca. Um, Luca is definitely one of the main. If you're gonna do one of the main cast, it's either Luca or Sirius in my eyes, or Ranzel, who would get a five in my mind, a five um, collab with Monster Hunter. If they really want to go back to the well, it would be uh, Cleo, um, Ellie, or Mim as one of them. I really hope it's not Mim. I really think it being it Luca would be pretty fine, but you know, it's all speculation at this point. Um, them picking Berserker makes it seem like they would want to pick three heroes that aren't super well known. Berserker obviously was there on day one, but it's not like there's a whole bunch of Berserker fans out there. If you are, tell me, because that's a weird thing to be a fan of, but I digress. Anyway, let's get back into it. Also in this event, there will also be a boss battle where you can um, place barrel... Oh, excuse me. Barrel Bomb L items. And that's not all. The Monster Hunter mechanics were planning on all... We're planning on including in the boss battles. We're also planning some boss enemies without elemental attunement. So we plan to make this event one that can challenge using adventures of various elements. The Monster Hunter event will start in late January, so be sure to keep an eye on Twitter for your notifications for updates. We will republish the pictures of Berserker and the weapons as that you can acquire at a later date. 
So what does that mean to me? I think I'll be interested to see what monsters will the monsters will do. I don't know. Maybe like something like Pookie Pookie. I really think that the main monster is going to be is Nergigante and Rathalos. Those are the two in my mind. And then if you want to like a a weird side monster, something like Pookie Pookie that shoots um, poison at people, stuff like that. But them not wanting it to be element would be tough because if it's one of those things where it's like, well, obviously Pookie Pookie would cause poison, but maybe it would cause like a bunch of different elemental effects and you can use any element you want. Them making it just be like, oh, you can use any element kind of opens up how this boss fight will do because a lot of Dragalia right now is enemies inflict a very specific ailment on you. So you always use um, dudes who are not to that ailment so we'll see how this monster boss uh monster hunter um bosses go but so far it really feels like they're learning the mistakes of the Mega Man event it almost feels like this event is being made better at the cost of Mega Man but that's all again speculation how do i know um yeah i'm excited to see where it's going and i'm excited to see who else gets get the the monster hunter army uh, armor i know they're gonna be limited up until the point where they said multiple adventures, I really thought that maybe they would do a Gala banner, <laughs> but then there would be Gala, Monster Hunter, Berserker, and Raflo's armor. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. I'm also wondering what, when we'll ever see the Fire Emblem Heroes dudes again, but I have a feeling we won't see that banner again until they would be... We won't see those three, five limiteds, by the way. That's the other thing, is I think for this Monster Hunter event, they might all be fives again. Um, if that's the case, I could definitely see a Platinum Summon. I was super disappointed in the Platinum Summon for uh, for New Year's, but that would be make it up if it turns out that Monster Hunter has a better Platinum Summon because of it, because it'll be only the limited units of Monster Hunter and stuff like that. And in terms of how good they'll be, we'll see. The Fire Emblem dudes are still good to this day, um, with some of them kind of being outdated, but I have a, I'm assuming when the event comes back, they'll all have their six mana circle, and any issues they have will be kind of fixed, or at least hard to ignore harder to like uh fight against I, I should say and then i'm also wondering what other like so great swords <sighs> like i think it would be kind of cool if we got insect glaive in some way like um a lancer hero that had the insect glaive and then you could also like summon like a tiny monster on the side like one of use one of the little tiny dragons like it's one of the skills of the adventurers that they summon a tiny dragon i don't know very interested to see. Now let's talk about what else is coming in January. The Flames of Reflection event in mid-January will be coming back. And the facility that comes with it, the level cap will increase. Not bad. They'll be adding some story in Chapter 11 of the main campaign in mid-January. This will be the first time trying this. But we plan to include things that are critical to the future of the story in here. Wait, what? Some... We're getting some story to chapter 11 of the main campaign in mid -chain. So that means that the main- I haven't done the main story? Does that mean the main story in chapter 11 is not done? Uh, chapter 12 will be added in the main campaign on February 12th. Am I crazy, right? Quest, unless there's currently like 10. Yeah, 11, that means it's not done. Weird, I had no idea that it was like that. I should definitely get around to reading it if it's gonna be February by the time we hit the next one. And of course the way they want to do it Around February would also be the time we get our Gala Banner. Man, that's a rough time, to be honest, because we're going to have um, Valentine's Day, and then we're going to have a Gala Banner back-to-back. -back. That's crazy. And then Monster Hunter in the end of January? That's insane. Um, good thing they give a lot of... Um, they give a lot of... Um, uh, multis and stuff like that. Um... And then in terms of Mana Spiral, the next in December it was a bunch of Flame Attuned Adventurers and Cassandra. And this one will be a bunch of Shadow um, Attuned Adventurers, which I feel like they've already kind of started with Ayasu and Cassandra getting theirs. But And Botan. Botan also got theirs. I kind of think it's funny how much people forget Cassandra got a 6 Mana Circle, but maybe that kind of shows how much better the 6 Mana Circle made her, I guess. I don't know. I don't have Cassandra, so I can't uh, vouch for how good she is now. Now this one's interesting, uh, especially as I switch to Japanese voices. Um, I, probably should, I probably should have shared this in December's issue of This Month in Dragalia Lost, so I apologize for the delay. From December onward, the adventure stories for five adventurers will no longer be fully voiced in Japanese. We came to this decision based on a number of upcoming five adventures and the frequency of additions to the main campaign. That said, Gala Dragalia adventures will continue to be fully voiced in Japanese. Weird that it's only... so... 
when I think I was talking to someone about this, I think the reason is that all the Japanese voices in Yugiri are like super well known. Like when I looked at um, Chitosi, it was the same person who's at the end of Pop Team Epic, the Aoi Chitoi Aoi. I can never pronounce that name correctly, so bummer for sure. Um, but you know, I guess it was getting too expensive. <laughs> And regarding the next update, the next update will be scheduled in late January and it will contain several feature additions to the game, making it easier to play. We'll share more details about the update content via notifications before it releases. But to give you just a little sneak peek, one feature we plan on adding will allow you to invite friends and other players who you encountered in co-op rooms to join your alliance. I mean, that's cool, but alliances only hold 30 people. <laughs> it's not like, um gonna be the best thing in the world but you know maybe if you make good friends like um me and my fellow trash alliance members uh, made friends with dami mommy who was helping us um grind up astral raids so not astral raids um void battles so it would have been nice to invite him to the to the guild and be like hey join us and finally, for the last bit here, and that will be the end of the video in january we plan to release a new raid event for the first time in a while Last year we added a lot of high difficulty quests like the Aikido Uprising and new difficulty levels for advanced dragon trials, but this year I want to put a lot of effort into events as well. We are currently working on creating a schedule that will allow us to release one new event per month. As we continue to work feature improvements so all of you players can keep enjoying the game in 2020, I also hope to improve the story and productions of the game. Also we currently developed the encyclopedia features and features that will allow you to replay past events as mentioned back in September. Please wait for just a little bit longer. Now here's the crazy part, the 1.5 anniversary of Dragalia Loss is coming in March, and I hope to be able to talk to you about future updates plans for that time, uh, like I did in the first anniversary. anniversary. So in conclusion, uh, I hope you continue to enjoy playing Dragalia Loss in 2020, thank you all for your continued support, and we're giving the following 1200 Wormite, and I already got this one. And then the next one comes February 1st, and let me tell you, that's a lot of stuff to think about. Um, I really think it's going to be way rougher to save than I thought. Thank God for, um, Jigalia just giving so much, um, stuff, because you really need it for some banners. Um, I don't know how hard I'll go in for Monster Hunter. I think I'll go a decent amount. <sighs> it's tough. It's tough for sure. Hopefully I can also get Zenrot back into it as well once I, um... I hope to also improve myself, by the way, because, you know, I'm still not the greatest at the game itself. I rely a lot on Lerp and a lot of other people in the Trash Alliance to help me out and stuff, but I hope to get better for this year. Um, I'm getting there slowly. So yeah, that's this month in Dragalia. So, the sum up, Monster Hunter coming at the end, it will have a sh summon showcase, there will be specific bosses from Monster Hunter, there's a rerun coming of the... Um, the Armory, Chapter 11 is getting more story, and they hope to have the next um, stuff by the end, so that doesn't really sum up by stuff what I mean. I mean, the update, of course. So yeah, that's it for um, this month in Dragalia. Interesting stuff coming up. I'm looking forward to it, and let me hear the mouse voice. Girl. Okay, so, you know, this is, I've kind of discussed all I can really say at the moment. I'm looking forward to some stuff. Tell me what you're most excited for if you want to answer back to me. I know some people have trouble um, talking back, but if you don't want to talk, it's fine. You know, Trigalia. As long as you listen, as long as you're watching, I appreciate you. Let's keep making 2020 great. Um... Uh, and if you like this video, leave a like, I suppose. I need to get better at asking for likes. I'm so bad at asking for likes, my summon showcase came out with, like, uh, like borderline 60% dislikes to likes. <laughs> so leaving likes really helps me out, because that was a real bummer to look at, but it's fine. I care about your support, is what I'm trying to say. And if you want to support me, that's the best way to do it. If you want to make me feel down, you can't. I'm sorry, but if you leave a dislike, at least tell me what you disliked and I'll try and improve myself. <laughs> I always try and look forward to being improved. Now before I end this video, I'm going to do the sickest transition in the world. It's going to make the other transition make perfect sense. Okay, take it, Passwookie. I'm now going to send this back to the past. Goodbye, everyone.